good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another new edition of World Today, where we get you the latest news headlines and articles making the news around the world. And we're glad to be joined here at the studio by Mr. Abdul Latif Wahba, journalist. Good afternoon, sir, and good thank afternoon. you for joining us. Yeah. And uh, we start off with Ahram Online. The headline reads, El Sisi demands no more loans unless Cairo can afford. Uh, President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi requested international cooperation. Minister Sahar Nasr that Egypt approves no more loans unless it's certain the country would be able to pay back. Nasr said the rate of withdrawal from Egypt's financing portfolio has increased from 10% to 44% to implement major projects, especially those with a societal aspect. A total of 70 agreements have been signed in 2015 2016 and for housing projects the World Bank provided Egypt with 500 million dollars. So how would you evaluate the current economic uh, status uh, in Egypt especially after the uh, mega projects that has been inaugurated by uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi? Yeah, yeah, of course uh, uh, as you know that uh, the Egyptian economy faced uh, uh, financial problems mm -hmm. Uh, since uh, uh, two or uh, three years. Uh, this is, of course, as a result of uh, decreases of the Egyptian exports, uh, of the, uh, also uh, the uh, tourism uh, mm -hmm. decreased also in uh, tourism uh, revenues uh, and all uh, the economic aspects of the Egyptian life. Mm -hmm. uh, but as you know, as uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi integrated uh, many uh, mega projects like uh, uh, so, uh, new uh, Suez Canal and so on, he uh, offered uh, many uh, mega projects for the international investors uh, uh, to come to Egypt uh, to attract uh, at the same time the foreign uh, investment. As you know, we suffered also uh, at the same time from decreasing of the uh, uh, foreign direct uh, investment in Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this is on one hand, and on the other hand, uh, as you know, that uh, uh, Ministry of Int uh, International Cooperation uh, uh, tried uh, uh, with uh, a great efforts with uh, some international uh, funds. Uh, like uh, the uh, World Bank and the uh, African Development uh, Bank and so on. The, uh, Egypt has signed uh, uh, agreement uh, uh, with the World Bank uh, 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 and also with the African uh, Development, uh, Development mm -hmm. uh, Bank. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, of course, uh, uh, yeah, to support uh, the uh, budget deficits, mm -hmm. uh, to support uh, the Egyptian economy uh, in his uh, mm -hmm. upheavals of, uh, uh, of the uh, of the decreases of the other aspects uh, uh, and so on. Uh, as you know that uh, uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, when he discussed uh, the agenda of uh, or, or the, uh, and the program the of budget, uh, the, the new, new budget, budget and right? so on, uh -huh. He wanted at the same time to, uh, to make the government um, uh, uh, secure uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the fund they need in the budget. Right. Uh, this is, and at the same time to, uh, to, uh, to confront the, uh, the expected uh, budget deficits Deficit. uh, in right. the new uh, financial year. Right, so uh, you've just mentioned the uh, foreign investment in Egypt. Uh, how do you think uh, Egypt can provide incentives to uh, foreign investors to come and inject money into Egypt uh, straight away yeah, as soon uh, as possible. Yeah, of course. Uh, as you know that uh, Egypt took uh, some uh, positive steps uh, mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, in trying to, uh, to attract the foreign direct investment in Egypt. Uh, they amended uh, the investment laws and the procedures in Egypt at the same time. So, uh, and uh, as you know that uh, uh, for uh, uh, Egypt at the same time uh, um, tried uh, to, to give uh, another incentives, especially uh, for the uh, foreign uh, mega projects uh, or uh, uh, investors to invest in Egypt mm -hmm. uh, to secure for them uh, fuels, uh, energy, uh, and at the same time they um, presented uh, a project or a amendment in the parliament uh, uh, to amend the, the, the current uh, investment law uh, mm -hmm. to, uh, to give uh, uh, facilities, uh, especially in uh, allocations of, uh, uh, of the land. 
uh, required for their uh, projects. Uh, uh, also, in uh, entering a new uh, field like transportation, uh, uh, like energy, and so on. Right, and uh, moving on to the daily news and the headline reads, uh, investigation team inspects Egypt Air MS-804 flight recorders. Uh, the Egyptian investigative committee looking into the crash of Egypt Air flight MS-804 began its inspection of the plane's two black boxes found in the Mediterranean Sea last week. The Civil Aviation Ministry said that electrical tests are being conducted on the memory units of the two devices, the cockpit voice recorder and the flight data recorder, after which the data unloading process will start. The data extraction process can take several weeks, the Ministry had earlier said. And so how do you see the efficiency of the investigation process uh, into the incident so far? Uh, yeah, of course, as you know, that um, uh, Egypt, uh, since the first time of, uh, uh, of the damage or, or of the crisis, uh, they declared uh, with, uh, uh, with fairness uh, that they will start uh, the investigations and they, uh, at the same time, that they, uh, they uh, informed all uh, the countries uh, participated uh, mm -hmm. in the uh, crisis at the same time, so like uh, France, for example, like uh, uh, United States of America as uh, a country of engine fabrications, uh, and the, uh, the other, and also the, 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 uh, the French uh, authorities to, to participate in uh, investigations. As you mm -hmm. know, that uh, uh, there was uh, uh, a time uh, for, uh, for the two black boxes uh, uh, in the uh, BC, mm. if uh, they can pick it or, or extract it from the deep water or not, uh, mm -hmm. and so on. As right. you know, right. that it took such a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it took, mm. uh, yeah, uh, and at uh, the same time, as you know, that uh, the Egyptian government hired uh, some international uh, companies working in that field, mm -hmm. um, and uh, finally they got uh, the two uh, black boxes. Now uh, mm -hmm. they reach it to a, a, a new uh, stage of uh, uh, of investigations, and uh, they extract. Uh, the memory uh, units of the two uh, black boxes, and they, now they uh, they need a special uh, often to, often uh, to be dried uh, and so on, and then they will uh, try to check. I think in uh, next uh, next few days uh, if they will respond to work or uh, or not. Mm -hmm. If anything uh, or uh, uh, one or uh, both uh, black box. Uh, uh, was completely um, harmed or uh, destroyed something. or damaged uh, to a yeah, certain extent. They, uh, they right. can uh, they can send it uh, to uh, to France to try to uh, to fix or to fix enrich right. and so on. Right. And uh, to what extent do you think that incident affected tourism in Egypt? Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, let us say first is that uh, tourism was completely affected. Uh, since uh, the Russian uh, airlines mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, so, but uh, but now uh, I think the the, the 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 effectiveness of the, the of the last one, or, uh, I mean, of Egypt Air or uh, uh, Charlie de Gaulle uh, trip to Cairo and so on, uh, I think it is uh, so, uh, it is so rare uh, because uh, the Egyptian tourism took the first sudden in uh, after uh, the Russian uh, crash. Right. Uh, but uh, now, as you know, that uh, a minister of tourism with the with the cabinet at the same time, so they are trying uh, to uh, to make uh, a promotion for Egyptian uh, tourism, mm -hmm. not only in traditional markets uh, like uh, European markets and the European countries, but uh, they uh, they go to um, Asia, Japan, uh, right. and uh, yeah, right. yeah, to attract uh, some. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, moving on uh, to uh, the World Bulletin, a headline reads, Israeli, Israel approves uh, $18 million extra funding for illegal West Bank settlements. Uh, the Israeli government approved $18 million in extra funding for the occupied West Bank settlements in a move that angered both opposition lawmakers and Palestinians. Some 600,000 Jews live in settlements built on the occupied West Bank and in East Jerusalem on lands Israel captured from Jordan in 1967 war. 
Most of the world considers them to be illegal. Israel has faced strong criticism for their continued expansion. So how was the echo of the Israeli move and the response on it regionally and internationally? Uh, yeah, of course, as you know, that uh, the uh, settlement policy uh, as uh, Israel wanted, uh, this is of course uh, obstacles or maybe uh, formed uh, uh, some obstacles for the final uh, negotiations between the Palestinian and the, the uh, Israeli at the same time. So as you know, uh, uh, even the United States uh, uh, administrations criticized the Israeli cabinet uh, for mm -hmm. Uh, for uh, for their uh, expansion mm -hmm. in settlement in in occupied uh, land and so on, but I think now uh, the Israeli uh, is trying to capture the time, as you know that um, uh, the, the 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 current American administrations uh, comes to an end by the end of this year. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are trying to capture the time and uh, to wait uh, at the same time the reactions of the new administrations. Mm -hmm. uh, internally, as you know, that uh, Egypt, for example, uh, with the Arab League and with the Arab countries, uh, refused uh, this uh, policy and uh, um, uh, and uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi revived again uh, the, the Arab peace, process. Uh, peace process and the, right, the Arab uh, initiatives. That, that was going to be my next question. Yeah. Uh, how do you see the uh, new revival of this whole peace process, the Palestinian uh, issue, and, uh, and of course the support of France and the French President Francois Hollande to this initiative? How do you think this will affect the whole process regarding the Palestinian cause and the uh, current Palestinian situation? Uh, as you know that uh, the uh, the uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi call uh, for the revival of the Arab Initiative Peace Process. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, uh, yeah, it comes in a critical times. Mm -hmm. This is the first, uh, and in dark days, uh, uh, and the dark relations between the Palestinian and the, the Israelis mm -hmm. uh, at the same times. So, uh, and I think that, uh, that now, as you know, uh, since he declared uh, the revival. Uh, I think all the Arab countries and the, the Arab uh, League itself uh, mm -hmm. with some international uh, uh, communities like uh, the EU, like uh, the, uh, the United Nations has supported uh, uh, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi step for the revival of the Arab uh, peace process. Mm -hmm. Right, and moving on to the Daily Star, a headline reads, HRW urges EU to stop returning Syrians to Turkey. Human Rights Watch on Monday urged the EU to evaluate Syrian refugees' protection claims before returning them to Turkey, citing a lack of refugee rights. The group Stephanie G urged international donors to support Ankara's efforts to improve basic rights for refugees. In the meantime, she added the European Asylum Support Office and Greece should consider all asylum applications of Syrians who have come through Turkey on their merits. How do you find the situation of the Syrian refugees in Turkey as it hosts over 2 million Syrian refugees? As you know that uh, in, in the first, uh, or, first uh, or the early days of the uh, the flow of the uh, of the Syrian uh, refugees uh, to Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, some European countries uh, uh, take some actions and some procedures to help the Syrian themselves. Mm -hmm. And then, as you know, after their uh, increasing uh, uh, in European states and so on, the uh, the other suffered. Uh, they reached to agreement with the, uh, Turkey. Uh, to systemize the uh, migrations of the Syrian or and the Syrian uh, uh, refugees, uh, but as you know that uh, there is a deterioration in the relations, uh, political relations between Turkey and some uh, Europe. Uh, European countries and mm -hmm. this is uh, of course uh, uh, completely uh, uh, put a negative steps on the Syrian uh, mm -hmm. refugees uh, themselves mm -hmm. uh, so they uh, as you know that uh, now um, I think uh, um, a hundred uh, or maybe a thousand uh, families of the Syrian uh, refugees are still waiting on the border between Turkey and the European countries and also in the borders between the Syria and the Turkey itself. Mm -hmm. 
Right, and moving on to the Global Post, the headline reads, Turkish Army Coalition airstrikes kill 23 Daesh militants mm -hmm. in Syria. Artillery fire from Turkey and coalition airstrikes killed 23 Daesh group militants in northern Syria on Monday. A total of 33 strikes targeted militants thought to be preparing an attack on Turkey. The U.S.-led coalition has stepped up airstrikes against Daesh group positions in the area in recent weeks in response to rocket attacks by the militants on the border town of Kilis. Would you shed more light or details on the security situation in Syria and its impact, of course, on the whole region? Uh, yeah, of course, but uh, let us say first that uh, the Turkish uh, didn't take any actions until they suffered uh, from uh, Daesh uh, terrorism in uh, Turkish cities. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, that they refused in the beginning of the crisis uh, and after uh, forming the international coalitions against, uh, against the Daesh in Syria, they refused uh, to participate. And uh, as they uh, got benefits uh, from smuggling between, uh, between Syria and Turkey, from uh, uh, smuggling of the Syrian oil and the gas, and natural gas and so on. Uh, but now, after uh, Turkey uh, suffered uh, from the terrorist attacks from the Daesh member, uh, members, they participated with the international community, with the United States, uh, in their uh, war against uh, Daesh in uh, Syria. Mm -hmm. uh, but let us say uh, that, uh, uh, as you know, the American administration and the, the international coalitions until now didn't achieve anything mm -hmm. in, uh, uh, in Syria. Mm -hmm. And right, we've seen a lot of trials for uh, uh, reaching a peace uh, settlement in yeah, 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 the Syrian course. situation, uh, 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 but we, we didn't see any middle ground reached. Uh, how, how do you see the current situation in, in Syria and what do you think is the way out? for the current yeah, process yeah. over there. Uh, let us say first that uh, if you want to, to reach a, uh, to a peaceful solutions or uh, settlement for uh, the Syrian crisis, uh, we can say if the United States and uh, with the international community, European countries, uh, reach it, or reaches uh, to uh, reconciliations with Syria and Iran, I think they can uh, go to uh, a peaceful reconciliations for the uh, crisis in Syria. Yeah. As you know, uh, that <clears throat> the, the, the war and the conflict in Syria mm -hmm. is on behalf of the superpowers. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the, uh, the American administrations with the international co community mm -hmm. didn't achieve any uh, political uh, goals mm -hmm. in Syria itself. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, of course, if you compare that with the w w with the Russian interventions in Syria and the leading some air strikes uh, in Syria, mm -hmm. uh, the Russian achieved their hopes, mm -hmm. achieved their goals, supported at the same time uh, the regime with the, w w with uh, some political uh, uh, blocks and mm -hmm. so on against Daesh and against uh, the terrorist groups uh, patronized by uh, some international uh, by some international <coughs> powers uh, right. or countries. Mm -hmm. Right, and moving on to the uh, independent and another hot spot uh, in Iraq. Uh, Iraq faces humanitarian disaster after Fallujah breakthrough. Uh, aid workers scrambled to cope with a massive influx of Iraqi civilians who fled Fallujah after government forces retook much of the city from Daesh group. Tens of thousands of civilians escaped the city just 30 miles west of Baghdad on the back of a major advance that saw Iraqi forces thrust into central Fallujah in recent days. The humanitarian community has been struggling to cope with thousands of people already suffering from hunger and trauma, now stranded in the scorching summer heat with no shelter. Again, another hotspot, Iraq, and yeah. how do you see the situation with the Iraqi people? Same like what's taking place in Syria, same like what's taking place in Libya. How would you comment on what's uh, taking but place I, in Iraq? I think, yeah, yeah, of course, mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, the Iraq is uh, completely different. Uh, uh, the Iraqi situation is completely different from Syria. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, that uh, many international um, uh, powers and uh, countries and so on participated in Syria. Uh, now in Iraq, uh, uh, as you know, that uh, the Iraqi uh, governmental uh, troops, uh, uh, supported by the some uh, by the 
international uh, uh, alliances uh, and so on, led by the United States. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, now, as you know, that uh, they sued uh, Fallujah for uh, months. Mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, they, they, they Actually, Fallujah in the last three days, around yeah. 30,000 people are displaced from and Fallujah. And they suffered, they suffered from, uh, from uh, ethnic uh, conflict uh, and cleansing policy, especially from the militia hired by the Iraqi uh, government. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it is... Uh, it, it is completely d uh, uh, difficult uh, for the Arab world as they face terrorism not only in Iraq or in Syria, but also in Libya and uh, in Yemen itself. Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, finally moving to a New York Times, uh, Iran TV says authorities disrupted biggest terrorist plot. Uh, Iranian TV uh, said authorities have disrupted the biggest terrorist plot to ever target Tehran. Monday's report quotes the intelligence ministry as saying several suspects have been arrested in the plot to bomb the capital and other provinces. Mm -hmm. It said authorities seized bombs and ammunition during the operation. Shia power Iran has been helping both the Syrian and the Iraqi government in their battles against Daesh group. Would you illustrate the Iranian strategy in dealing with its interior and foreign affairs? Uh, as you know that uh, um, uh, Iran with uh, Russia uh, and also um, uh, with the Syrian at the same time, so they took uh, uh, one side uh, mm -hmm. and one, uh, one uh, confrontations against uh, Daesh. But I think what, uh, they, what Iran declared uh, today, uh, it depends upon who led. Uh, this uh, group uh, to, com uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to commit any um, uh, mistakes in Iran itself. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it, is, uh, it will be a scenario to face uh, uh, some uh, and the, Arab, uh, the Gulf countries at the same time as you know, uh, they arrested before uh, Iranian uh, uh, spies and the uh, Iranian uh, uh, sub, uh, or uh, some uh, Daesh group supported by Iran and so on. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, Mr. Abdul Latif Wahba, journalist, many thanks for joining Thank us you. and many thanks Thank for you. your insights, sir. And dear viewers, with this we come to the end of uh, this edition of World Today. Stay tuned for the top stories coming up in a moment.